Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Malbec, Petit Verdot, Cabernet Franc. Have I got your attention yet? Good. Big Bold Reds are among the most sought after, cellared, and coveted wines on the planet, and BC is no exception. Up and down the Okanagan Valley, they've been producing powerhouse reds that have been recognized on the world level consistently. Cedar Creek Estate Winery is one of those trendsetters. I'm here in Kelowna to talk to Gordon Fitzpatrick, the owner, and he's going to tell us all about it. First stop, the barrel room. So Gordon, here we are in the barrel room, and I'm really excited to talk about what's in these barrels. How important is the role of oak in the making of red wine? What spice is to a chef, barrels are to a winemaker. So next to the grapes, it's the most important uh, ingredient when you're having barrel uh, aged wines. And is it safe to say that next to the grapes, it's the most expensive ingredient in a, in a <laughs> wine dish? Yeah, no, it's uh, about, uh, well, anywhere from $1,000 to $1,200 uh, dollars a pop. Uh, these beautiful uh, Colbert barrels, uh, they uh, are special. Those were $2,500 a pop, and uh, you keep them for five years, and after that, you spin them out, and they become uh, flower planters. So, Gordon... We do know that it's a young industry here in British Columbia. So how long would you wager that these wines can last? We've uh, been pleasantly surprised, and I think our full-bodied reds, um, that uh, they can age uh, 10 years uh, plus. Uh, the first year that we did platinum was in 1998, and uh, the last time I had our platinum Merlot, which was uh, just a little uh, uh, over a year ago, uh, the fruit was uh, still uh, very fresh and vibrant, and so it uh, still has longer to go. Now, when you ask a winemaker how long can the wine last, and their answer is 10 years, that doesn't mean that the wine is undrinkable before then, right? Wine is meant to be enjoyed, um, so you don't want it to collect uh, too much uh, dust. But, you know, if a serious collector has the patience and can set it aside, then you're going to be enhancing the wine. And one of the tragedies of Okanagan wines are that they get consumed before they really hit their potential. So how long on average will the red wine spend in a barrel? Why don't I introduce you to my winemaker, Tom DiBello. He can uh, tell you about our blending and uh, the aging of our wine. That sounds great. 